And welcome back to Hangout number two. So um, I know I haven't had a chance to meet many of you or speak to many of you one-on-one -on -one or face-to-face. -face. So uh, if it's the first time that we're actually in a meeting together, happy to meet you. Uh, my name is Don Murphy, and hopefully you had a chance to go through the first Hangout that we had last week, and you've been following the education posts that we've done for the first six days of Coach Basics. And tonight's meeting, I really think is the most important one out of the four that we do. I mean, they're, they're all important, but tonight is where we really get into, you know, the, the heart of what we do as beach body coaches. And that's this invitation process so that we can successfully um, establish relationships with not only the people in our circle of influence, but also with people who we haven't even met yet. You know, this is an ongoing thing that we do as beach body coaches. And then more importantly, once those connections are made, what is this invitation process that we can use to invite people to our challenge groups in a way that we don't feel salesy? And this is for a lot of coaches that are new. This is the area where many fall down and it, it kind of takes a few attempts at doing this. And you're going to fail and you get back up and you try again and you're going to fail and you get back up and you try again. And all of a sudden it starts to click because a light bulb starts to go off as to what it is you're actually doing for people. Okay. And, and so the point that I always go back to as a beach body coach is do not think of yourself as a product distributor. And that's not to say that you can't occasionally sell a beach body program or product to somebody and get a nice commission. You know, they might hear about insanity or the 21 day fix, whatever it may be. And you can say, Hey, yeah, I'm a beach body coach. You know, if you want to get it through me at my website, you can, and they can go to your website, make the purchase and you get a commission. The coaches that build six figure incomes and now even seven figure incomes that we're seeing in the, in the organization are the ones that have been running this concept of challenge groups successfully really helping and supporting and motivating people in their quest to lose weight, get healthy, get fit using the beach body programs. And so what I aim to do tonight is talk you through this invitation process. And then beyond that, we have a lot of information we're going to try to get into this hour and there's a good chance we might even go over or a little longer. And I apologize for that, but we've got some really good speakers that are going to be with us tonight. We have um, Bonnie Scharf. So Bon, just give a wave. Bonnie's a one-star diamond coach. She's achieved success club 17 or 19 months in a row. Uh, Lori Siegel, there she is. Give away. She's also hitting success club repeatedly. She's a diamond coach leading her own team. And then Shannon Price, um, also a diamond coach. And I've, I'm, I've invited these three team leaders to be on here this evening to just share insight as to what their challenge groups look like and how they've gone about the invitation process to consistently hit success club and build their income over time. So you're going to learn from not just me, but them as well. So the way I wanted to start the meeting out was to first say that I know for brand new coaches, you're, you're, you're feeling overwhelmed because you've got all this back office stuff going on too. Like you get lost in the website and it feels like you've got all this administrative stuff to learn and, and while that's true, you know, that's where you really got to make sure you're going through the coach training academy in your back office. The tutorials that are in the coach training academy are going to talk you through those minutia details to learn about the business. The purpose of Coach Basics, the way I approach it, is to teach you how to succeed in the business. Once you've gotten through all that nitty gritty stuff on setting up your website and understanding how income is earned. All of that is found in your, in your coach training academy. So what I'm going to do is I just want to take you to a screen share and show you where that training is found for those that maybe haven't visited it yet. So let me go to my screen share here. Okay, so what you're looking at here is my back office, guys. So I logged into teambeachbody.com, signed in, and got into my back office. Now, once you're in the back office, you go to the coach, um, 
coach online office. And then at the top here, the menu bar, you've got all these tabs and news and training is the one you want to go to. Once you get to news and training, you click on coach training Academy and that takes you here to this page. So in the coach training Academy, these are tutorials that you're going to want to go through as part of your self development. We're not taking the time to go through all these things during coach basics because you can do this on your own. So as part of your coach, your self development, self development, you want to go to how to earn. You want to go to the three vital behaviors of training, which obviously is a big part of coach basics. You want to go to the business reports and reference materials. This is chocked full of tutorials to talk you through the basics of the business business and how to navigate through your back office. But what we're going to focus on tonight is this five step invitation process for your challenge groups. So this is under the category of invite, invite, invite. It says learn how to use the five step invitation process. And this morning I posted a video um, with Tommy Migrant that was a role play of this five step invitation process in action. You know, and, and it's a pretty good role play. Um, there were some parts to it that I was kind of like, mm, I would have said this differently, but we're all different. But what I want you to take from this is the framework of how the inv invitation process works. So what I'm gonna do is go to this tutorial and show you right here, okay, this is the, the customer five-step invitation process. I'm actually gonna open up the document, five-step invitation process doc. And again, in your own time, you can come back here to this site and there's a lot more in the way of tutorial and guidance on the concept of inviting and the concept of forming relationships. But let me open up the uh, PDF and here we have it. And so before I talk through the different parts, the five steps to this guide, I kind of want to give you a mental framework of how to think about your first challenge group. For a lot of coaches starting out, unless you're somebody who's already known as getting healthy and being fit um, and being involved in health and fitness or somebody that is going to be good at or be trusted in holding someone accountable and achieving their health and fitness goals, there's another strategy that is often being used by new coaches. And it's, it's something that's happening more and more. And it's helping coaches build a substantial following, if you will, and build trust with a lot of people or, or actually enable people to trust them and what they're trying to do for people. And it's this concept of free challenge groups that have nothing to do with any of the Beachbody programs or products. And essentially what you're doing is you are setting up a free and private support group that's really nothing more than a, call it, a general health discussion group. So right here, this, this invitation for invite to your Facebook general health discussion group. And your general health discussion group is not a group where you're pitching beach body programs or products. It's simply a group or a page. Okay, there's a difference between a Facebook page and a Facebook group. But in either, in either instance, it's, it's a page or a group where people are invited to receive general support for free in their health, their nutrition, and their fitness. And so one of the things that a lot of coaches are doing very successfully is inviting people to their free clean eating challenge groups. You know, a lot of people are, they really struggle when it comes to their nutrition. And if they have a support system, that they can use to check in and have somebody holding them accountable, such as a beach body coach, you have a way of working with people in an area of their lives where they often struggle, nutrition, helping them, and at the same time, build trust and rapport with them. And Lori Siegel is here, and she's actually gonna talk, she's gonna talk to us about this concept of a free clean eating challenge group because what happens once you've done that successfully and I'm, I'm not saying you have to start with this you could just start with a beach body program challenge group 
and go for it. But what Lori's going to talk about is kind of a, a, uh, a stepping stone to getting to that Beach Body Challenge group. It's this free clean eating support group. Because once you have that support group going, the people are trusting you, they appreciate the, the support and the help that you're providing them with, so that when you extend them an invitation to be part of a Beach Body Challenge group, they're more likely to respond because they already have a relationship with you. So on that note, I actually want to have Lori speak for five minutes about how she's used this concept to achieve some of the success that she's had. So let me, let me unmute Lori here. Hold on one second. Um, sorry, Lori, hold on. Okay, Lori, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you right. hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. So first, thank you. You're thank welcome. You so much for being here. I was so pumped when Bonnie said, Lori's got a clean eating challenge group going on. And I was like, sweet. We'd love to hear about it. So how are, uh, you, how are you using this concept and how's it going for you? Actually, I've got two different challenge groups going on and they're both free. So I, it's not a clean eating. It's actually a little bit more specific um, okay. to it's a no added sugar challenge group. Nice. Um, so it's a little bit more than just the clean eating. Um, and I also have with Laura, we worked on a fitness um, a challenge group called Crunch a Bunch. Actually, I call it Crunch a Bunch. It is Crunch Bunch. <laughs> Laura's the creative, Laura Renton. She's my creative person and we're working nice. that together. Nice. Um, so I'll talk, I'd like to talk about the Crunch Bunch and, yeah. I, and I put together a couple of slides. Awesome. Um, so if we can share yeah. um, my you, screen. Yeah, actually, if you go, if you look at the bottom of the, the uh, screen here, at the, at the very bottom, there's a control panel. Uh-huh. And it says share screen. Okay, I'm going to click that. Let me just open up my slides. Okay. Okay, perfect. Desktop. Okay. There you so go. You See my little, my slides here. Nice. Um, try to make it, I've been working on slides all day. Wow. So I will, ah, uh, nice and big. Okay. That, great. So um, Laura and I created the um, event um, and the process that we, um, that we've used and many coaches use is to create an event and invite from that event. So this is a screenshot here of the actual event page. Um, and so all simply what we did, we came up with a catchy little headline, a name of the group, picked when it was going to start. And we wanted to make sure that in the descriptor that the people we were inviting knew that it was free. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you see on the on the red area that I've circled here, we invited a select group. We didn't invite 500 people. We wanted a small, intimate group. So we invited 148, and we had a nice turnout. Yeah. Um, it seems at beginning of the year, abs are all the rage. So um, we had 31 people that participated and um, it was a really good turnout, but a couple of things. So we invited um, everybody that we could think of that would be interested. We posted something daily in the invite before the group actually started. So we said our challenge group's gonna start on January 5th, about 10 days before the event, the actual challenge group, we created the event and started inviting. Okay. We posted things daily. Um, I recommend, which is a lot of fun, to partner up with another coach because this way you're not doing everything together and it's really good to uh, play off of each other. Yeah. Um, so this uh, screenshot over here where it says friends sweat together, stay together, we really wanted to post engaging content so people would be into it. Um, so... The day of our challenge group, we had told everybody in the event that in order to be added to the private group, I love the little quote fingers, be added to the private challenge group, that they needed to be friends of ours. So those that were, came by um, either from friends who invited friends, we were able to um, become Facebook friends with them and include them in the challenge group. Yep. A couple of things with the challenge group. I think it's really important um, that when you um, select your topic 
and you have your challenge group going that you pin, that you like mark to the top, your actual challenge calendar. So this way it makes it easy for people in the challenge to find out what the daily assignment or the daily workout or the daily food menu or whatever the key uh, driver for your challenge group is that they can easily access that. Um, I also think it's important to focus on adding value. So for this challenge, it was fitness. Um, we're not fitness experts, we do, or nutrition experts, we do rely on third-party tools. So there's a ton of things available through Google, YouTube, whatever your resource is, add that value. So for fitness, I like to focus on form and um, make sure that they get that because I don't want any issues with people hurting themselves. Um, Laura is extremely creative and is really funny. So we wanted to have fun in our group. So here's a picture of Laura actually doing her crunches in her jammies. Um, she was doing crunches and in a previous group that she did a squat challenge, she was squatting all over the place. Um, and we also um, feel that it's really important that when your challengers are posting, always be encouraging, engaging. This is a real great opportunity in this private environment yeah. to build the relationship. And that's what it's all about, building the relationship with people. They'll come to like you, come to trust you, and value what you have to offer. Um, there's no better forum than this. Um, we also recommend tagging people in posts um, so that they actually get a notification. Um, and that's kind of like Facebook 102, but so many people use social media that we tag people all the time. So it's a good um, strategy and tactic to get people to actually see when you've posted that um, posted something for them. Um, and then what, what I like to do and what I think really um, starts to bring in the beach body aspect is towards the end of the 10 days, 30 days, however many days you do it, you know, it's going to come up. If your challengers are engaged, they're going to say, well, what are we doing next? Yeah. Right? So um, sometimes, you know, nutrition and, and discussions about nutrition based programs are more appropriate. In this case with the crunch a bunch, um, it, this is an actual true story. Um, one of my challengers and a friend of mine who is a fitness person, she's like, I want to do more core. And she was really active in the group. And she said, why don't we just do a, a core, you know, workout? So I said to her privately, I messaged her. I said, that sounds great. Why don't you do it with me? And she's like, well, what do you mean? I'm not a coach. I said, yeah, but you're coaching. So why don't you co-host the next challenge group with me, we'll do it together, invite your friends. So in the middle of the crunch bunch, I had posted this middle um, post here, uh, like towards the end. Yep. Um, and it was showed some of the, the challenge group packets that were available, three day refresh. And she's a friend of mine, she's been following me. And Marianne said, hey, I think I'm ready to do the three day refresh. And that started a whole new relationship. So now she didn't sign on as a coach though. That's sure. not what she wanted, but yeah. I'm going to get her into coaching because she's a natural at it. Sure. So the next step was just a really natural evolution. So I know I'm over my five minutes and I just want to do my little wrap up. So key things for me and all of us within the challenge group environment is make connections. That's what they're there for. You're offering a value message, message them offline to build that relationship ask them what do they want to do next and you'll get to know um you know the cream rises to the top so people that are really interested and engaged they will they will speak up um i like to say sprinkle beach body on occasion uh this is not the place to be hitting them over the head with advertising yep. you'll lose them right there yep. identify the challenges that are really into it um and and you'll be able to tell right away um, and then ask a challenger to partner with you in your next group. Um, what I've been doing with my core challenge is I um, haven't been doing a lot of um, inviting through the event page. I've been taking that event invite and 
putting them into my group. So announcing that I have a new group, yep. would you like to join? Posting it on my page, posting it on my business page, just sharing that as opposed to sharing a product. Yeah, absolutely. Bottom, right? And the bottom line is just have fun and you'll make new friends and you'll become that, that trusted go-to person. It happens over time. It's not going to happen automatically if you force it, but have fun and just share what you're doing, not so much what you're selling. And that's, that's great. Lori. Yeah, this is fantastic. And I really love the presentation. Thank you. Um, so let me ask you this. Do you ever find any type of pushback with people who may be um, leery about a quote unquote challenge group versus a quote unquote support group? You know what I mean? Like Beachbody's coined this term challenge group. And it's something that for some, for a lot of people, it's like, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. But others, it's like, mm, you know, I don't know if I'm cut out for that. Right. Do you think maybe the term support group is, is just as good, if not better, than challenge group, especially if somebody's brand new and doesn't even know what a challenge group is? Well, that's a lot of it. So, you know, I use support, challenge, and accountability yes. interchangeably. Great. So, Oftentimes in the description, like whenever you're creating a group or an event, you have to add like a line or two description. And so what I'm saying is that this is, you know, a support group or a group that'll help you. We'll give each other support. We'll help you be accountable to, you know, your goals. Um, challenge, I think it really depends if you've been working with the same group of people and I'm, and I'm noticing that since the beginning of the year, I've got this little following. They like what I'm doing and we're doing it together. And slowly they're starting to convert to customers. Yeah. And so I can say, you know, it's a challenge. And then for some, it is a challenge to get through a, a, one of these core workouts. That's the challenge. Right. So I think it's how you position it, but you're right. That the challenge group is, um, a definite beach body thing. But if you go on Google and you like, when I did my research for the no sh added sugar approach, I really, it was something personally I wanted to learn more about. Yeah. And I knew that that was kind of a, um, a hot topic for the year from, in terms of, you know, what's next in nutrition, right? It's yeah. no sugar. So I did some research and you'll be surprised how many um, other nutritionists and people who are out there are using the phrase challenge. You yeah. Google anything with JJ Virgin, this guy, Jorge Cruz, um, okay. they all are starting to use challenge. So I think it's becoming more uh, common yeah, and kind of like as maybe we'll make it the year of the, the word of the year challenge. Yeah, no, it's good right? stuff. And your, the big takeaway here is that it, it does draw people to be involved because it's free yeah. accountability and support in an area of their life where many people need it. And most importantly, it's giving you that opportunity to build trust and rapport so that when the introduction to a potential beach body challenge group is made, they're more likely to say, Hey, you know what? I'm interested. Right. Tell me more about it. And you know, that that's interesting. You mentioned free and some of my other free challenge groups, I did put in the word free. Mm -hmm. Um, in the header, like in the title of the thing. And I, this, these last two, I haven't, and I, but I have been putting in that it is a free challenge group in the description. Right. Um, I just didn't want it to sound too, oh, this is free. That's not free. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. 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 How much value is there if it's free? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, the, the most common question people ask is, well, what's involved? Right. Well, they want to know what's involved. Do I have to buy something? What do I have to do? Right. And I've been starting to use language like, well, you know, you do have to purchase a program. My coaching is free. You know, you get you, all these you're, great. You're talking, about, you're talking about the Beachbody Challenge Groups. Yes. Yeah. Other yeah. challenge groups. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Where they're product focused. Right. right. Um, yeah. And that's, that's, so that's what we'll move into now is it's kind of the graduation process. Thanks so much, Laura. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I don't know how to get off a screen share though. Um, it should say down at the bottom, stop, stop screen or at the top, at the top, does it say stop screen share? Uh, whoops. You just got small. You just got even smaller. Uh, 
at the top mm -hmm. of your screen, it should say. Oops, now you see my Facebook. Uh, no. At the, at the bottom, do you see your control panel? I think that's the problem. Okay, hold on. Can you can take control from yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, here. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Thanks again, Lori. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So what we're going to move to now, guys, is this five-step invitation process that's used to talk to people about your actual beach body challenge group. And bear with me one second. I just got to go to my... Okay. When you're inviting people to your beach body challenge group, you have your immediate circle of influence. You know, this could be your family, your friends, people that you went to high school with, your extended circle of influence. It's up to you how broad you want to go. But the point is that you always want to be inviting. And the inviting is done either through mass invitations. You know, you can build an event page and invite people to your event with a description of what your, what, what your challenge group is going to be. But the most effective way is through individual invitations and conversations. So the real magic rule here is in your vital behaviors of inviting two people per day, a minimum of two people per day should, in be, should be invited to your Beach Body Challenge group. So if, if moving forward, you're not inviting two people a day and you don't hit success club at the end of the month, that's probably the reason. A lot of coaches are good at planning and, and um, doing a lot of different parts of their business, but when it comes to the inviting on a regular basis, they fall down. And that's why a lot of coaches don't hit success club. You gotta always invite. So what is this invitation process? Well, I'm just gonna jump down. This, this top area up here touches upon the concept of forming relationships with people, okay? It's, just, it's called the FORM method, F-O-R-M, it's an acronym, about how to build relationships. I'm not gonna go into these details right now. This is something that we'll, we'll cover throughout the course of Coach Basics. What I wanna jump to is the course of dialogue that you're gonna use during the five-step invitation process. And there's five reasons noted here as to why every coach should use this process. It's gonna get you more comfortable with the conversations and avoid objections. It's professional. It's gonna help you build better rapport, relationships, and trust. So imagine this. If you've already done a free challenge group like Lori just described and showed us, that's an opportunity for you to have already built some relationships and trust and rapport with the people in that free group. But moving on from there, you may be inviting people to your challenge group that maybe weren't in your free support group, or maybe you don't want to begin with a free support group. You want to go right to the challenge group. Well, for you to get customers to buy something from you, you have to establish some rapport, trust, and relationship building because without it, they're not going to buy anything from you. You know, who are you that they're going to buy something from you as a Beachbody coach? Mm -hmm. And so this process is really critical when it comes to talking to people in a way that you're not just pitching them products. You're going to talk to them in a way that they go, wow, you know what? I can tell that Don is really sincere about me getting healthy and fit. And boy, he's really confident in what he's telling me. And based on that, I'm going to make this investment in Don. So imagine that once you've gotten through this process, they're not investing in the product as much as they're investing in you to help them across the finish line. And that's what this whole dialogue will create is trusting you to make that happen. So let's go through this rather quickly because I do want to get uh, Bonnie and Shannon to share their groups as well. So the first thing is the invitation. Okay, and it's, it's basically the hook that gets your prospects into the conversation. And it says it right here, you can send an invite to prospects one-on-one -on -one or promote an upcoming challenge group openly on your social media accounts. So step one is the invite. And here's a sample invitation message. And these are just sample messages you can use. You don't have to take these verbatim if you don't want. 
You can get as creative as you want with whatever you want to say. But I do like the concept of saying, hey, I'm looking for five people who want to lose weight over the course of the next 60 days in time for spring. Message me for details. That's it. It's, it's broad. It's open-ended. It doesn't talk about what the, what the group is. It just is a hook to get people to go, hey, I saw that thing on your Facebook page. I'm interested. I'd like to get more information. So the, the whole point of this initial invitation is you don't overwhelm them with too much information. Step two, okay, they might ask about price. Like Lori just said, sometimes people will say, well, do I have to buy something? You know, what is it? And the great response that Lori just gave is, well, let's talk about what the group entails and then decide whether or not you should make an investment in um, one of our programs. But my coaching, no, there's no, invest in, no investment in my coaching. My coaching services are free. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to just ask you a few questions about your health and fitness, and then we can decide, is this the right thing for you? That's how you answer that question, is this gonna cost me anything? So once you get them to say, okay, I'm interested, tell me more, great. This is where you get to step two. It's called the interview for a reason. This is the most important step of this whole process. This is the step where you're gonna build that rapport with them, where you're gonna ask a lot of leading questions so that people start to realize, wow, you know, this person is really asking me things that are helping them understand my health and fitness goals. So look at some of these sample questions here, okay? Again, this is, this is assuming that somebody has responded to your hook invitation. You're gonna come back with, what made you interested in my challenge group? Let them respond. Tell me about your nutrition. How long have you struggled with nutrition? How many times in the last five years would you say you've tried to lose weight but gave up before you reached your goal? Have you ever tried a beach body program before? And on and on. It's giving you a lot of great open-ended questions to use here. And if you go back to the video that I posted earlier today with Tommy Migran in that role play, he does this and he does it quite well. He's just asking the, the potential customer a lot of questions about her health and fitness history and what she's trying to achieve. Okay? So spend a lot of time here on step two. Step three, once you've kind of painted a picture of who this potential customer is and why they're interested and what they want to achieve, then you turn the page and say, okay, listen, I'm not sure my group is right for you, but it sounds like it is. So what I'd like to do is send you a couple of videos that will give you a, give you a better understanding of how the challenge group works, and then I can follow up with you. Does that work? So you just want to get them to buy into yeah, I, I'll take a look at the two videos you send me. Once they say that they're, gonna, that they're okay with doing that, another thing you should do is, is hold them down to a time. You know, say to somebody, great, Lori, I'm going to send you these two videos. By when do you think you'll be able to watch them? Will you be able to watch them by the end of tomorrow? Get them to say and commit to watching them by a certain time because then I'm going to say, awesome. So if you're able to watch them by the end of tomorrow, what I'm going to do, going to do is I'm going to give you a follow-up call on Thursday to make sure you don't have any questions about it. Cool? That's it. So you've just taken them through step three. Now, you got to make sure after you've had that conversation, you're going to send the videos. And right here, it's important to send the videos to your prospect immediately following the bridge step three conversation. So the two great videos to send are ever feel like this, and the customer success stories, beach body challenge groups. Okay, so those videos are found right here. Share the videos from your coach online office. You go to your video library, beach body challenge groups general. So this is where you'll find those two videos. And they're just, they're good sharing tools because they, they explain 
what challenge groups are, and they give some really cool customer success stories from people that have gotten results in challenge groups. Once you've done that, step four is where you go to follow up and confirm their interest. So it's like, hey, Lori, did you have a chance to watch the video? So this is me following up on Thursday because she told me she was going to watch them by the end of the day on Wednesday. So I'm following up Thursday. Did you get a chance to watch the videos? What did you like about the video? Do you have a better understanding of how the challenge groups work? Do you see how this concept can help you with your fitness and nutrition through accountability? There's just more great language you can use here for this follow-up call, okay? Once they've gotten to the point of saying, yeah, you know what? It seems really good for me. I'm going to be able to work out at home or on the road or wherever I am, and I'm going to have the accountability of your group. This is where you want to explain the deal. Okay, right here. It says explain the deal. All right, Lori, it sounds like it's something that you're ready to do. So here's how it works. You enroll with a challenge pack. So this is going to come with your fitness program, the complete fitness and nutrition guide, and your first month of Shakeology. And like we talked about earlier, you're getting the accountability of me as your coach and the entire group for no additional fee. So understand this, guys. When, when you're explaining that deal, when somebody's buying a challenge pack, they're, they're not just buying that product. They're buying you. They're investing in you and everything that you're going to do as the coach leader and the group itself, the peer support of the group. That is the most valuable part of their investment. And that's where a lot of coaches fail to make the connection. They're just trying to sell the products without emphasizing the fact that they have this group and you as their leader to get them across the finish line. So make sure you explain that to them in step four. And then step five, help them enroll. Literally be on the phone with your customer, talking them through to your website, you know, have them on their computer and you're on the phone with them, talk them to the website and then walk them through the ordering process. The other thing you can do is actually send them a link to the challenge pack purchase, which is directly connected to you as their coach. All right. And there's a way to do that. And if you, if you don't know how to do that, please make sure that you consult with your sponsoring coach, or if if they can't give you the answer, then reach out to me. But just to repeat what I said, if somebody's ready to make the purchase with you as their coach, send them to your website with you on the phone, or send email them the link to buy the challenge pack connected to your coach ID so that you get the credit and it's your customer. Let me know if you have any questions on that, but it's really important that you help them enroll. Okay. There's other things you can do. You can actually enroll them through the coach mobile app. There's actually a, a team beach body coach mobile app where you can enroll customers or even new coaches right through an app on your phone. So that's really cool. If you're sitting with somebody and you can get it, get it done on your, your, uh, your smartphone. All right. And I'll, I'll post that link to download the app. Uh, on the Coach Basics page. But this is, in a nutshell, the five-step invitation process. You know, and obviously, you'll personalize, you'll make it your own, but the more you do this over and over and over, the more it's just going to flow naturally, and you're not going to be stumbling over your words. You're not going to be thinking about, oh, gosh, what question should I ask next? It just becomes a natural flow and a natural dialogue in a way that they say, I'm in, and thanks so much for, you know, everything you've just asked, you know, you've just basically gotten a complete snapshot of me and I'd like you to be my coach. So this is, this is such an awesome guide to use. And, um, you know, this will also be on our team page for you to look through. So with that, now I'm going to, I'm going to stop the screen share and I want to bring on Bonnie who is going to uh, talk to us about the success of her challenge groups and maybe share some insight as to things that she's done and how she's been so successful in achieving Success Club now 19 months in a row. 
you know, she's leading all of Team Euphoria with consecutive months in Success Club. Um, let's just see, we're getting a... Uh... Oh, okay. I see there's, there's questions coming in on the chat. And I will make sure these are all answered by the end of the meeting. But right now, just I'm going to park the questions that have been posted, and I'm going to go to Bonnie to share more with us. So hold on, Bonnie. Let me unmute you. Okay, you're on, Bon. Hi, everybody. First, I have to say, Don, that was an excellent presentation on the five – step invitation process that was really good very awesome. well said thank you i just have before i forget i just wanted to make mention last night i was on a um diamond and above call training call with corporate and we talked about the mobile app and i said that i know some people who had some issues while, when using it and i have a little tip that i wanted to share with everybody especially Please. ellen um, <laughs> she's had some issues with using the mobile app. Um, if you use Safari as your browser when you sign on to that link, then you shouldn't have a problem. That's what the guy from corporate said, to okay. use Safari as your browser. So I just wanted to share that while I had that on my uh, I appreciate it. That's good. good. Okay, right. no problem. Okay, so um, do you want me to first talk about how I've – been successful at making success club or do you yeah. want me to first go into my challenge group yeah here? yeah explain how you've hit success clubs successfully so many times in a row you're, you're building okay. a great team and this obviously you are really good at inviting people to your your challenge groups well you know um there are so many ways to invite people and even though i also have had months where you know, I was frustrated because I felt like I was inviting and nothing was happening and people weren't being very responsive to me during certain months. And I, you know, it's not like it just came easy. It's something that is simple to do, but it takes time and it takes effort. Yeah. So you just have to make sure that you're staying consistent. That's what it's all about is staying consistent and making sure you're getting it done every single day. So it's setting aside some time during your day, regardless of, you know, what works best for you. Everyone's got, you know, their own lifestyle, but find some time, whether it be morning, during lunch, in the evening. It doesn't even have to be a full hour. It can be 15 minutes here, half an hour there. But you just need to find time during every single day in order to make sure that you are getting in your inviting because that really needs to happen in order to make a success club. And so there's all different ways to invite. And you really should try all the different ways because everyone's got their own technique that works best for them. You know, some people, when they post mass invites on their Facebook page, they get a lot of responses, a lot of people, you know, messaging them or commenting on their posts saying, I'm in, you know, I want to do that. And then for me personally, I do make sure to create an event and post it on my page and post about the you know program that's coming out like I just did the 21 day fix extreme and talk about it but my success has come mostly from private messaging yep yep and so whether it be private messaging on facebook or in real life because i really do I'm always thinking about it wherever I am and wherever I go. I'm always thinking about, you know, taking opportunities when they happen. So if I'm sitting in a doctor's office and there's, you know, someone sitting next to me, I'll start a conversation and see if I can work it into the conversation. And usually when you say to somebody, what do you do? They'll say back to you, what do you do? And of course, I'm immediately going to say, well, I'm a health and fitness coach. I help people to lose weight and reach their fitness goals. And, you know, if I'll wait and see if they say, oh, I, I could do something like that. I love that term, by the way. You notice right. how she said I'm a health and fitness coach versus I'm a beach body coach. Right. Yeah. A like, lot of people don't know what beach body is. Correct. Health and fitness coach is kind of like, well, that's cool. And like you said, most people go, yeah, I could use some of that. <laughs> right. 
And then when I do say, I, I do say I'm a Beachbody coach eventually, and they'll say, oh, what's Beachbody? And I'll say, have you ever heard of P90X or Insanity Fitness Programs? And mostly everybody has heard at least one of them. Yep. So the media will be, like, oh, yeah. And I'll say, well, that's the company. And so, but they have a whole line of products to help people with it, you know, regard, depending on what their goals are. It's pretty much, you know, there's something for everybody. So basically, I start out just talking to people and engaging them and creating conversation whenever I can. Wherever I am, if there's any point in time where I'm, you know, I have that opportunity, I'm sitting next to someone or standing next to someone in line and we're just waiting, you know, just starting that conversation. I've had my dental technician become my customer, my hairstylist, you know, and so you just take those opportunities in regular everyday life. And of course, Facebook is huge as well. I do private message people every day. And you also want to friend request people every day to get new people. Well, what so is, I'm yeah. sorry, what, when you, when you private message, what is the message itself? Like how do you, what is t like a typical message that you send? Yeah, my initial message, I usually start out just being very general. I'll say hi. You know, if it's someone I've already had a relationship with in the past, I'll just say hi, how have you been? You know, it's been a long time. And then, you know, if I know something like that they just had a birthday or they just had a baby or something, you know, I'll mention you look great, you know, your baby's adorable. Or, you know, if it's someone new, I'll just start trying to build a rapport with them. If, you know, well, if we have mutual friends, but if it's someone that I really have already had a relationship with, I usually, in the first message, just say, hi, you know, I'm sure you must have seen that I am a Beachbody coach and I help people to lose weight and, and reach their fitness goals. Would you like to join my online support group based on exercise and nutrition? And I, I don't call it a challenge group, like we had said before. Because These are the people, people you already them. have relationships with, correct? Yes. Right, okay. Yes. These are people I already have relationships with who I, I've known in the past, maybe people from high school or people I've known, you know, in the, you know as an adult. I'll just message and I'll make like a, just a, a short blurb, you know, maybe a one sentence, just warming up the conversation and then say, how would you like to join my online support group based on exercise and nutrition? And usually... If they come back with any kind of positive response, which a lot of times they do, that's when you start the whole invitation process, where you start asking them what their goals are right. and what their deep why is. And you go into the first step and then the second step. So that's when you start. Um, regardless of if they start asking you questions like, well, is it going to cost me anything or what's this about? I first just go into asking to them, well, let me find out first from you what are your goals? So this way I can help you better. Yes. Good. Yeah. So that's how I invite people. And so as really, as long as you just stay consistent and you just are determined and make it a, your, your priority to do every single day, don't go to bed until you know that you've invited at least, I say five, but at least two to five people every nice. single day. We changed it. It's five, not two. <laughs> Well, you know, also the power of threes, three, you know, three is really my absolute minimum. At yeah. least three to five is really what I tell my coaches. Yeah. But, show yeah. us the challenge group. Show us so, yeah, okay. show us one in action. Yes. Okay, so my challenge group, I have to, let me see if this is, I think this is it. Tell me if you can see it. You able to see it? Um, yep, you're good. Okay. All right, so everybody has a different way of doing challenge groups. I would say most coaches only run challenge groups for the either the period of time that that particular program runs. If it's a 90-day challenge, they'll only run it for 90 days or 60 days. But um, what I have done is my challenge group started out actually a year ago, and I started it out as a 21 day fix when it first came out, 21 day fix challenge group. And I had people come in and join and we were all doing the 21 day fix together. But then after a, a few cycles of it, people started wanting to do different fitness programs, but still do the meal plan from the 21 day fix. So then it kind of morphed because everyone wanted to stay together. Everyone, you know, we really had a great group of people who were really engaged and they, everyone developed a really great 
you know, feeling of connection together. So I wanted to keep them all together. It was going really well. So it morphed into the 21 Day Fix slash Multi-Fitness Challenge Group. And so everyone, most of the people on here are all doing the 21 day fix um, meal plan, but everyone's, we've got people doing um, Insanity Max 30, Focus T25, Pump, Pio, basically every, almost all of the programs. Well, it's a total, total hybrid support group. Yes, but everyone posts their sweaty pics every day. You know, it's a really great, very engaged group. And then they all are receiving this great group support afterwards. And there's me, that's from today. And so, you know, a lot of times people will post their challenges, you know, that they're feeling bad because they didn't, you know, eat well that day. And, and they're getting this great group support, not just from me, but from all the other challenges in the group too. Nice. So there's really a lot of different, then I post a, a motivational message every day. This was today's message. But, you know, depending on what's going on, I'll sometimes have certain themes going on, um, like for a Super Bowl. Well, here I wanted to show everybody that I'm creating a 21 Day Fix Extreme event. Yeah. And then, um, like when the Super Bowl was on, I, I had posted this. How much exercise does it take to burn off those Super Bowl snacks? Yeah. And you're pulling, so just so everybody's aware, you know, if you're looking at this for the first time going, oh my gosh, okay, where is she getting this stuff to post? There's two ways. One, Google search engines have anything and everything you could ever want in the way of motivational tips, exercise tips, um, nutrition tips, motivational quotes. You just Google whatever you want and go to images. Use right. that stuff. The other way is the Beachbody Challenge Group guides. The Beachbody Challenge Group guides exist, especially for new coaches that – have no idea what to post. You just copy and paste from the challenge group guides that exist for all the programs. And like this group here that Bonnie has, this is a hybrid challenge group. We've got different people doing different programs based on their fitness levels and specific goals. There's a multi-program challenge group guide also listed in your back office. That's where you get all your posts to copy and paste. So you're don't, freak out that you don't have a, a world of stuff that you can be copying and pasting into your groups. It's there. For right. You. I have to say, initially I was just taking everything from the back office. Yes. Because all of the posts are awesome and they're there exactly for this purpose. It's just that my group has gone on for so long that yes. I used them all already. And so then in addition to finding them from Google, you're going to wind up befriending with other coaches and being added to their groups too. So I get a lot of my pictures from Shannon's group and from Ellen's group They and Lori. You know, they all have great ideas and great posts. And so don't ever hesitate to take something from another coach's page yep. that you really like. So that's another great, you know, way of getting some really awesome posts. Yeah, absolutely. And so as a coach, guys, if, again, if you're new, you want to be in a challenge group right now with somebody, either your upline coach or an upline diamond, whoever, you should be in a challenge group yourself as a participant to just see all the wonderful stuff going on there. And then like Bonnie said, there's stuff you can take and use for your own group when you start it. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Bon, thanks so much. This is, this is great. And it just gives that real snapshot mm -hmm. of, of what it's all about. Um, and then we're going we're gonna to go to Shannon as well. Um, let me just see here. Can you take that off screen, Sharabon? Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to Shannon. Before I do that, there was a question that came in from somebody regarding what if somebody asks you about your qualifications as a coach? Here's the deal. Beachbody coaching, there's no certification. We all know that. It's anybody can be a Beachbody coach. And the thing that's wonderful about this opportunity is you don't have to be a personal trainer or certified in technique and understanding uh, the physiological movement of, of body patterns and all that. It's the programs do that. The exercise programs are the pathways that your customers are going to follow. That's what they're following in your group. You are their support and accountability partner. You're their motivating person. You're the person that's going to inspire them with daily tips that you pull from the challenge group guides. 
you don't have to be a certified trainer. Well, somebody, so when somebody says, oh, you're a health and fitness coach, what are your qualifications? It's like my qualifications, I'm your accountability partner. If you're looking for somebody that's going to hold you accountable to getting healthy and fit using the best programs in the world, I'm your person. But I'm not going to be your personal trainer. That's not what this is about. This is about you being put into a support system with me leading you and motivating you and inspiring you so that you get across the finish line with the best results you've ever seen. Start talking to people like that with that kind of confidence and they're going to go, whoa, okay, sign me up. So let me go to Shannon, um, who also, again, just banging out Success Club, diamond coach, leading a big team now, and like has crazy numbers of people going into her challenge groups all the time. So hold on. Let me just go to uh, unmute you. Hold on, Shan. Okay, go for it. Hey. Hi, hey. everybody. Hey, so Bonnie and Lori heard a lot of stuff for you guys tonight. Um, and um, I, I guess what I'll um, cover is that I do things a little bit differently than other coaches. So when I, I make a different challenge group pretty much every month, and sometimes I have several running at one time, um, because I had a multi-challenge group, and it was um, it got a little bit – crazy and then there were so many people in it and um, a good problem to have it is a good problem to have and so people wanted to sort of branch off and and um and do something else so at the end of, of that i just said we're gonna branch off and um you know you're doing t25 we're doing p90x3 and i did your group for p90x3 so so we had those going and people thought that was great so they just started doing other things and and i started a couple of free challenge groups um, which, you know, took off into leading people into doing something else. And that's kind of the, the point of a free challenge group is to help people discover what they're interested in and, you know, what solutions are going to work for them. So um, I'll do a quick screen share. Cool. And I'm probably on, I'm on messages here. So hang on. <laughs> I was messaging back and forth with some of my coaches. So here we go. All right. So. Um, you can see that um, I've got a whole bunch of things going on over here. A lot of these are, um, I try to put my groups kind of together here. So um, I've got a seven day clean eating group there. Um, this group is three women that I'm really good friends with. And they said, we just want to be in a group by ourselves. I'm like, that's okay. We're just in a group and they're doing pump. They're doing less muscle pump. Nice. Um, so, so, and they're, I see them all the time. They're really good friends of mine. Here's my P90 group. And what's really cool about this group is that um, people that were in the group to begin with, when P90 first came out, when was it, August or whatever, um, the people that started it finished it. Oh, yeah. And more people wanted to start doing it. So I added a group sort of in the middle, and they're almost done. And now I added some new people that said, we want to do this too. Um, so I have like three new people. And what's really funny is that one of the women bought the wrong program. She bought P90X3. And um, so she was, this is Joanne. So she was saying to me, Shannon, the, I don't know where to find these workouts. <laughs> oh, and I, said, I said, what did you get? Did you get P90 or did you get P90X3? And she goes, oh. <laughs> she goes, that's why these workouts were so hard. <laughs> okay. So um, I post for her as well in this group. Cool. And so um, we post, I have people in the group posting stuff and they post their sweaty pics. We post each other drinking water, you know, and things like that. So um, that I've, I've got several groups going all at once. One of the things I do is I make events to invite people. And then when people are, um, say they're going to go to the event, I will private message them. Love and it. so my, my, um, my next one is going to be on the 16th and, and Bonnie's joining me. We're just, you know, any coaches that want to add to, to this, please do. Um, so I invited 98 people. So I did not invite everybody, okay. um, cause I have over 2000 friends. So I just invited people that I knew would be interested. Um, although I don't make their decisions for them. So I'm not going to look at this guy and say, Oh, he's probably not interested in that. I'm going to say if he's in another challenge group right now, he's not going to want to be in this one. 
So um, don't make the decision for them. Invite them if you don't know, because they can just turn it down. So you do, um, you do, you put um, the event invitation up, and then yes. as people say they're going, or maybe they're going, you right. follow up to say, hey, I saw you were going to attend the right. challenge group. I'm so psyched. Tell me about your goals. That's where you go into the invitation. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll private message. Some of these are coaches here. Oh, of course, these are all coaches right here. Um, but I, this woman right here, uh, Melanie Holloway, she was really, really interested in doing this group. And um, she, she messaged me right on this page to ask me about it. So I private messaged her back instead of putting the info on the page. We, we've been private messaging back and forth. So now she's decided she is going to do the group. Um, and so I have a couple of other people the same, the same way they're asking questions. What do I need for this group? Um, you know, stuff that I can answer quickly and also asking them, forming them, what are their goals? You know, what, yeah. where do you want to go with this? Is this the right program for you? Or maybe 21 day fix is better than 21 day fix extreme. All of the things that we need to do. If you don't do them, you're not going to get anywhere. If you do do them, it works. So try, you know, try not to reinvent the wheel. Bonnie and I tell our coaches that all the time. Don't reinvent the wheel. It's there for you. Use it. Yeah. So that's, that's a lot. That's what I do. And then the week before, be, the week before, this is going to start on the 16th. So on Monday the 9th, I'm going to start the private Facebook group page. Got it. Yeah. Hey, Bonnie, before, or Shannon, before you break, yeah. go, go to, um, for those that have never done it before, create a group. Let's oh, sure. You bet. Yeah. Maybe. While you're on your, while right. you've got your Facebook open, like go to the home. Yeah. So just yeah. show that you've got a lot of different groups going on, which is. Yes, great. I do. It's, a, I it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> but, but just go to that. So everybody's got this left side of their home page on Facebook. These are your favorites, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, but then there's that one link where it says form new group or new group. All right, so you can you can do that from um, all the way down here where it says groups. So these are my favorites. Uh, the next thing will be your pages. The next thing will say groups. So you click on more on groups, and it'll bring up every group that you're part of. All right, so this is like millions of groups. Okay, um, so up at the top in the right-hand corner, click on create group. It's that simple. So um, I'm going to create a group saying um, Don Murphy and gang. Okay, so members, I'm just going to invite Bonnie and I'm going to invite Don. Okay, so you can invite anybody you want. And right now, this is a closed group. All right, that's fine when you first create your group. But once you start getting into the group itself, once you start getting into the first week of the group, switch it to secret. Yeah. And, and the reason you have to do that is because only members of the group can post or see the posts. It doesn't go into anybody's news feed unless you're a member of that group. So it's mega because private for the people that are in that group. Mega. Yeah, and because it needs to be, especially if people are posting their pictures yeah. or they're posting their measurements and their weight and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can, uh, a closed group means that it will show up in people's news feeds uh, of your friends, but they can't post in it. Only members can post in it. Public, of course, anybody can see that or join it. Yeah. So then you just hit create. And voila, you pick an icon. So we are going to pick that, baby. We'll pick that. And that's the icon for our group. We're rocking and rolling. So easy beans. There's your group. All you got to do is make yourself a cover photo, which is different because a year ago you didn't get to do cover photos for groups. Now you can. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I use pick yeah. pickmonkey.com is, uh, is a great group. Yeah. Is a I great, love using pickmonkey. Yeah. Yeah. You can create Facebook banners that are awesome. They are. Okay. Um, and, uh, then you can, you know, make a description of a group like this group is, um, this is our group to talk about health and fitness, or this is the max 30 group. What I normally do, and I'll show you, I'll just go to my max 30 group and show you what I do. That's called throwing a fit, max 30 test group. So, um, what I did for the description here is I took it right off the beach body site, insane results in just 30 minutes a day. It's time to max out. Yep. Okay. Um, you can make it longer. I think I did it longer for my 21 day fix 
group, or I know here we'll go to this um, three day refresh group. So this is the description for the three day refresh group. It's longer just because that's the three day refresh All right. group. I mean, that's what they, so that's what I use for description. It's great. Um, yeah. So it's really easy to create it. And if you have any questions, always ask, cause you know, I'm here for you. If you need to know. The question that just came in, what was the website to create banners? It's pickmonkey.com is the one I use. P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com. Pickmonkey.com. Here it is. I'll pull it up for you. You can see what it looks like. Pick Monkey Photo Editor right here. So it looks just like this. Um, I'm, I've, got the, uh, I've got the paid version so I can do lots of different editing and stuff. And it's only like seven bucks a month or something. Right. It's really cheap. If you do the free so, version, um, if you do the free version, guys, like I, I got to it and I was like, okay, well, how do I do it? I yeah. actually Googled how to make Facebook banner using PicMonkey, and there was a freaking YouTube video on how to do it. Oh, and it's so easy. Yeah. So you're good to go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I do that for all of my new coaches. Uh, like my, fr my friend, Aaron just signed up as a discount coach today. So I made a really cool PicMonkey of, of her and you can put words on it, you know, text, whatever. Awesome, Shannon. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a million. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'll stop my share. There we go. All right. Very cool. And then I just got cool. one more, one more uh, share that I was going to do here. I just want to sh show you guys. Hold on. This is. I put this up on our team page uh, in the event you didn't get a chance to see it. This is, a this is a challenge group that I've got kicking off on uh, in mid-February, and I'm working with a doctor. So this is a cool idea. If you know any doctors out there, I wanted to share this with you guys because it's almost like this new world that I feel like I'm taking my business, um, working with medical professionals or professionals who are uh, specialists in their field. They are health professionals. They are people who recommend exercise to their clients, but don't really give them anything specific. You know, and a lot of the medical professionals or specialists out there in health, they do the work they do in their field of expertise, and then they recommend that their clients exercise, but they don't give them specific pathways. They tell them to go to the gym, or they tell them to work with a trainer. Well, here's this awesome guy that I'm working with, Dr. Uh, Steven Janopoulos, and he is totally brought on board with Beachbody now. And so he's recommending his clients exercise using the Beachbody programs. And just to give you an idea here, and I know I'm going on a tangent, but I just think it's really a, a great pathway that you could, anybody could think about. We've set up an online survey that gets sent to his clients that paints a picture. They fill out this five question survey about their fitness level their exercise history and the goals that they want to achieve moving forward, their current weight. It just gives us a snapshot of who these people are. From there, we do a phone consultation and then we recommend the challenge pack that's going to be best for them coming into this group. And so he and I will be working side by side posting into this group, which is a challenge group that we've called the, um, the doctor's fitness support group. So he's actually going to be branching off to more doctors in his network to bring them this concept to them and hopefully get them on board as Beachbody coaches. So it's a great area or arena to be thinking in terms of if you know any doctors or specialists that recommend exercise to their clients, what are they recommending? Because there's an opportunity for you here for you to team up and start running um, cooperative support groups and challenge groups. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, that's it, guys. And I know we ran a little long, but I, I think it was really important to see all the different viewpoints on how this concept works. And hopefully you have an understanding of how to talk to people during the invitation process. But give yourself time. You know, it's something that you do repeatedly and you just get better at it. And the most important thing is have fun. Don't take yourself too seriously. Have fun with this business. That's what it's all about. All right. If anybody has any questions, go ahead. 
wave your hand in front of the uh, screen or type whatever you want in the chat box. And I apologize because I haven't had a chance to keep up with all of the stuff that came in. Um, <laughs> looks like we've covered everything that's there. Is there anything else that anybody had that they wanted to have answered tonight? Hopefully it wasn't too overwhelming. A lot of good information covered. We're good? All right. Thanks a million, guys. Have a great night. And uh, next Wednesday, 8.15 p.m. Eastern time. We'll see you then. Have a good night. Shannon, Bonnie, and Lori, thank you so much. You guys are great. Have a good night.